legend himself, Pee Wee Kirkland. Um, you being a basketball legend yourself around, you know, on the East Coast and, and really being able to watch Wilt Chamberlain in real time, what did that mean to you to see a guy of his caliber? And play against him a month after high school in 1960. Bottom line is, and that was a major part of why who I am today. Because after it was an all-star game, I played against him. And they said after the game that Pee Wee Kirkland was the prototype then of what a great player would be in the backcourt. That was all because I got on the court with Will Chamberlain who was able to hold my own. It was, he, he was the standard bearer when it comes to big men. There's never going to be another big man in the history of basketball is in my life or your life or your life, maybe your life, but not our life for sure because he was just that great. And greatness do never, ever produce itself in the same form. And with Will, it's just, I mean, it's just, how it's going to be another Will? When if it don't be for Will, I don't know if we would know what a real big man in basketball really is because we don't know the day. But we got to see, we see guys seven foot, 6'11", six, 6'9", six, shooting jump shots from three-point range. Right. That's not testing if you are a real big man in the game. When you're a real big man in the game, you had to come every night, no matter what. You see the paint? That was where you lived. That was your house, and nobody could come and invade your house because your life, your life didn't depend on as much as you take care of that paint. And Will did, Will did that all his career. Never stop being Will Chamberlain until he passed. Absolutely. Now, I have, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about this because we're celebrating 50 years of hip-hop, and you were in one of the biggest videos in a long time in the, in the clips when they actually mentioned your name. What was that experience like for you? And what made you want to reach out to the, the younger crowd and really show that support to that, to that group at that time? Well, you know, I always tell the truth. That's from the culture. Truth for the matter with the clips, Fella that I was really involved with in the life of crime at the time was away in prison. He asked me, it was his family. So he asked me, when I, when I go to Virginia, they want to be in the video, would I do it? And I said, for sure, I'll do it. RSP, he died in prison, you know what I mean? So that's the kind of person he was. And when I did the Cliff video, a couple of days after I did it, I was known that as a legend in two games. So I owe that to them. I've got my, my name, Pharrell, right? And who else? Pusha T. T. Yeah, I owe them that, for sure. And, and everybody who, whose song I was in, it went platinum, triple platinum, and double platinum. And I never asked no one for nothing because I owed it to the culture. I wouldn't be who I am if it don't be for the culture. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everybody got a chance. I believe a new generation got a chance to know who you are, at least Google or study who you were, and then be able to understand the significance of your presence being not just in the video, but just being here and being around people and being a part of that new generation to show that love and that, that, that respect that they, they showed you. And, and you're right, but I've been, I have articles where it says Pee Wee Kirkland, another real change because I scored 100, 135 the next game. No, Pee Wee Kirkland was never ever going to be another real change. Trust me. He, he, that's who he is. He's just, he's just a. Uh, I mean, they need to have statues in every arena of Will Chamberlain. You see what I'm saying? That's my problem with the NBA. I know it's the pinnacle of the sport, but you can't have great players. And they got to wait 25 years to go in the Hall of Fame. Have to make Because 25 years later, the younger generation saying, who is that? No, the streetball player came from Holcomb Rucker, who is the godfather of streetball. Then it went to the players in the NBA who built the game to what it is today, where they're getting so much money. But those players, we don't hear about them. Why? Wouldn't be no NBA. Wouldn't be no $4,000, $5,000 a seat. But we don't hear nothing about them. Tell me why. But we can hear about the players come from overseas and embarrass themselves. You see what I'm saying? When if you just say, come anywhere in, New in America, say we want... Seven or eight guys that's six nine, six ten, six eleven, they will be there. We can't keep giving their livelihoods, their legacies away overseas. You gotta respect them and, and give it back to the culture. That's where they come from. And that's all the great players in the league. You know, right now today, they come from the culture. Stop trying to go overseas and find what's already here. 
So your story. Very well said. I have nothing left to say. The professor just schooled me and everybody else. The one and only Mr. Pee Wee Kirkland. Thank you so much, sir. Pleasure. Pleasure.